All right, boys, let's show you the real car parts. Oh, hell yeah, brand new truck and it's already broken. I play boxer. <laughs> hey, I brought it to you and it was working. That's it. it. I'm buying a Dodge. Hell yeah, dude. I'm not a Dodge person or a Ford person or Chevy. I'm all three. <laughs> so Boxer's going to fix a truck all by himself, right, Boxer? All by myself? <laughs> I got it. I got you. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. This isn't the kind of video we wanted to make today, but I guess uh, we got to get into it. So the truck broke down already. So I guess a little backstory before we, like, really get into what's going on with that. So while I was deployed, I bought... Uh, I don't really want to say what I bought yet because I want to show it, but I needed something to tow it. So I bought a F-250, 93 F-250 diesel. It's a 7.3. Um, and my buddy Boxer right here, he just drove it all the way from Virginia to here. And then we were driving it all around yesterday. The truck was running beautiful. And then we go to the gas station. I was about to put some diesel in it. Go to start the truck. Didn't start. So we were just kind of like, all right, let's try to maybe jump it. Maybe the batteries are dead. Tried that, didn't work. Then we tried going, getting brand new batteries because the batteries are kind of old. Put new batteries in, same problem, then start. Then we were trying everything. We were trying to uh, trip the starter solenoid. That didn't work. We tried popping the clutch, like pushing the truck down. I guess we just couldn't get enough speed because of where we were at. Couldn't do that. So it just kind of like felt kind of defeated and then just like all right let me get a new starter solenoid and get a brand new starter because i really think it's a starter so right now we're on our way we're going back to the wawa parking lot because it's broken down in there and we're going to try to replace the solenoid first hope it's that because that's so much easier to fix i really don't think it is though and we got a brand new starter as well put that in and then hopefully tomorrow or the next day we're going to start our trip and we are going to be going to tennessee first and then we're gonna go right to Kentucky to pick up what we're getting. So I really need this truck to be like fixed and dialed in and like ready to go. So I guess uh, you're gonna watch us try to fuck around with this thing. See how that goes. All right, best case scenario, this thing just starts right up. I doubt it though. All right. Jeez. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. All right, let's pop the hood, get that solenoid off, and hope we can get this. Oh, sheesh. All right, there she is, 7-3. All right, so we're going to replace this first. Hope that fixes the issue i don't think it's going to and then if it doesn't we're gonna fix the starter and pray it fucking starts otherwise i don't know what we're doing so i guess uh let's get this Yep. <laughs> I, like I said, I didn't think it was going to. Yeah. So on to the next one. It clicked, right? Damn, getting to this is gonna be a pain in the dick. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna get it. I really feel like it's from this pan. I wanna see. Like, 
this pan is like mm, yeah. Is that cool? This is the oil pan though. Yeah. I don't know what this pan is for. I think we need a swivel. Right, I just want to show a little progress. So the starter's over on the passenger side. You can see it right there. So we're trying to get it out. But what's concerning me a little bit is if you can see the bolts, there's a little bit of oil on them. I'm not really sure why that is. So I think that might be something we got to look into. I'm really hoping there's no oil in the actual starter because that could be why the starter is no good now. So I really don't know what's going on. So I guess we'll keep you updated. Alright boys, I just wanted to finish this video. So as you can see, the truck is finally driving, so we got it back together. So Alright boys, as you can see I'm in the truck, but it's now late at night because I work nights. So this is weeks later after the fact of everything happening. So I saw that when I was just sitting down editing the video to push it out for tomorrow, the video I guess didn't finish. So I didn't get to say my final thoughts for this video to wrap this thing up so i guess here they are weeks later so i was pretty pumped that we got the truck running as you saw in the clips like truck was rolling things were going good um yeah so i was definitely really concerned that we weren't going to have the truck ready to go before my trip because we were driving this thing across the country so i after that that got me kind of worried because that happened on like my first day of having the truck so i didn't really know what else to expect for the rest of the trip because we were driving pretty far away it took us about, sheesh, I want to say like 15 hours to get there, like 12 to 15 hours, so it definitely was a trip, and a lot of events did ha take place during that trip, which you'll see in the next vid, I believe the next video, so very excited to roll that one out, pretty crazy, but got the truck rolling, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, if you could drop a like, if you could subscribe, comment, anything helps i definitely appreciate it i'm excited to start rolling out new videos i got a lot of things filmed i'm ready to keep pumping things out and really trying to grind to grow i'm really trying to hit that thousand subs so please help me out and getting that i know this wasn't the most like entertaining video but i guess welcome betty old betty here let's go but like they say it ain't a ford unless it's found on road dead you know so <laughs> she was definitely found on the road dead but seriously though, I uh, appreciate the support. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, anything helps. I really appreciate it. Let's get to this thousand subs. I've been waiting. I've been grinding. So we're going to pump out more videos. we got to just keep filming and hopefully things start rolling. I'm starting to post more on TikTok. Um, I need to be more consistent about like my Instagram stuff. I've been kind of bad about that. And I need to be better about editing on my videos. I have a bunch of videos lined up, like re basically ready to go. It's just I need to edit them. So... We're going to start trying to do that, and uh, now that the leave is done, going back to work, it looks like I'm probably going to re-enlist as well, so I might have more money for some toys, so 